This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And we are back with an update to my boss weapons video. Holy crap, did I get a lot of comments and did I make a lot of people angry. Okay, so I'm going to do my best to fix that right now. A lot of you were really mad that I didn't point out that the mini nog launcher and the dragon head pistol were dual wieldable. So yes, they are dual wieldable and I did know that. The reason I did point it out is because I assumed most people, now I know there are some people who will grind for, but I assumed most people would not grind for two of these. Most people are going to get one, use it, kind of feel like it's meh, and you know, then move on to something else. That was what I assumed, but apparently I was really wrong. I'm not afraid to admit that I'm wrong. So yes, they are dual wieldable. Yes, today I'm going to show you the damage and we're going to take that into account. Also, I was informed that Punchy was glitched. I did not realize Punchy was glitched and he is apparently a passive mob, I guess. He's weird and I assumed that he was in the game so that you could practice on him and see DPS and all of that good stuff. I assumed that that's what Punchy was for. Apparently I was wrong. So I rigged up a little something here. I got a monster spawner. We're going to spawn aggressive monsters. I've modded them a little bit to make them extremely durable and extremely slow so that we can and, you know fire on them anyway let's get to it i'm really not going to go over the doom claw or the katana very much because we know that they're op we will touch on the staff because somebody mentioned or a couple people mentioned that it wasn't really practical um in a normal you know roundabout battle so we will touch on that we're going to take a look at the eye because apparently its secondary ability does collide and we are going to take a look at the dual wheel damage on both the launcher and the pistol. So let's get to that. Okay, I have everything equipped and I have no armor on and only cosmetic stuff. So, you know, it's cosmetic stuff. It's not affecting anything. Everything is in cosmetic slots. Normally I would strip down, but we're not going to do that for this one. Okay, let's spawn a monster. And first thing we are going to test is the dragon head launchers. We will full fire on both of those. You can see it's 63 damage and he is burning for 19 damage a pop because he is a high level monster. I, I think I set these to spawn in between uh, level 10 and 15 if I remember right. So it does burn them for a lot of damage, but that initial fire is only 63 so that's 63 base damage without any damage modifiers from your armor or any of that other stuff the other thing that i was informed and that i didn't really realize to be honest because i never just i didn't think about it most games i assume just show you the damage when they show you dps show you straight out but apparently starbound actually combines the damage when you fire fast enough and when i fire these as you can see it's combining the damage and that's why you see that 11 and the 21 and the higher numbers like that in there because it's actually firing enough and it's adding up your dps and showing it to you uh, like i said i didn't realize that that was my bad thanks to all the people who pointed that out and i didn't realize i was in admin mode so i popped out of admin mode real quick and we're going to just take a look at our energy when you fire both of these dragon heads at the same time so there you go you use pretty much all of your energy but you are able to fire it a second time as long as you have a little bit of energy left because another thing I did not realize is apparently Starbound allows you to overuse energy. If you have any energy at all, you can continue to fire a weapon if it would normally take the energy. So you can continuously charge those up as long as you have a tiny bit of energy left. Okay, let's move on to the launchers now. We'll spawn another guy here. We're gonna do a full charge and it's gonna take pretty much all of our energy. We will hit him with a full barrage, and it's 112. Now, the launchers are a little bit different because each crank uses a bit of energy, so when you crank them all the way and you have that one little bar left and you fire and then you immediately try to fire again, you can only get one rocket because of the way that it works compared to the dragon launcher. So the dragon launchers, you see, I fire, let go, hold charge all the way let go you can continuously fire that that um double barrage and fully charged as where with the mini launchers you cannot 
Anyway, one you know, 112 is your, your max damage, then you're gonna have to recharge all of your energy to get that 112 again. In my opinion, that's still a little too slow. However, it was mentioned that you can just run around with these pre-charged and you know unleash them when you see something harmful coming at you and most of the time one shot it if you have higher level armor which if you have these you probably do have higher level armor and once again just because I don't like a certain weapon or I don't think that it's good doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad weapon it's to each his own if you like the dragon's head or the launcher then by all means you like them that's fine that's the reason I do these videos is so that you can, you know leave a comment down below and be like I like this this is why I like it to so spark up a conversation get people talking about the good and the bad of, of, of this stuff and why they like it there's absolutely nothing wrong if you like it if you like it you like it if you don't you don't I personally don't care too much for these anyway on to the eye the eye uh, we were gonna test to see if it the secondary ability collides and sure enough it does collide you can see there as soon as it hits the guy it collides for 48 damage um, you can get plenty of shots off of this but once again it has that cooldown so you can only fire every so many seconds but if you pay attention to your energy you can actually continuously fire this if you give your energy a second to recharge um, and don't deplete it completely okay now on to the staff but we're gonna have to go to a different planet uh, to test this out because these guys here they they're slow I purposely made them slow so I will be back when we find a good spot to test that out okay so we are here on a planet we actually do have a little drone chasing us so I'm gonna attempt to kill him on the move oh we got a guy down there as well and we took quite the beating let's see if I can manage to okay so I mean it's not terrible but you're not you're probably not gonna hit them with the full barrage let's try it on this guy yeah it's a lot more challenging when they're moving and then you have that break in between firing if you do use your entire energy pool I mean you would probably be better off just firing one or two of these at a time maybe or this might also be one of those weapons that's best used for when the monster can't reach you which is normally how I like to fight at a range so I mean if you're hanging back like this and as you can see he can't reach us then that's where this is really going to shine if you want to um, attack them on the run then something more on the lines of the mini launcher or something that you're gonna be able to fire multiple times is probably going to work a lot better in that case so yeah maybe I gave the staff a little more credit than than you know it really needed I like it and it usually fits my play style that's why I give it such high praise but you know like I said it's to, it's one of those things where it's to each their own if you like a weapon you like a weapon then that's awesome Anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. I just wanted to get a quick update video out to clarify those few things and point the, out that, you know, you can dual wield and show the damage with those weapons dual wielded, show the staff being used practically and, and stuff like that. Just wanted to get that out to clear that up, maybe calm some people down. Before we go, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all your support. You all are amazing. And to all of the fans out there, thank Thank you so much for all the comments the kind comments all that for participating in the channel and everything I couldn't do this without you you are all amazing people if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy and you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching